السلام عليكم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد سيدنا وآله وصحبه ومن ذلك رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وصلى الله عليه وسلم دستور ما شاء الله فاز صلى الله محمد على كان مدد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تؤتوا سفاهكم وأولادكم لا تجعل الله لكم إلى آخر الآية آيات سنة كذلك بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تتو السفهاء أموالكم التي جاء الله لكم إلى آخر الآية الله عز وجل says don't give your money and property away to fee profligate people keep them may they be a trust for you instead says Allah عز وجل That is a risk sustenance from Allah. We should be careful with that. Generosity is one thing, but usage or care is another thing. A safi is a person who does not value others' goods. who doesn't know how to handle them. His property can be handled by his relatives in order for it not to be wasted and squandered, they should keep it. They can give him as much as he needs and give the rest slowly and step by step. If and when he comes back to his senses and takes care of his property, it can be returned to him. Most of the world now has become such the Safi type. Nevertheless, we have to keep the order of Allah so that people don't have any loss but gain profit. Also, we are living in the end of times. People are saying, we don't know how to do it, and they're giving it to others. But others are cheating them by telling them that they will do it for them and work the money or property. Whereas some people cheat people out of stupidity, and some out of craftiness. They say, I want to use it and will return it after I earn profit. Let me do business with your money. You must say, no, my brother, if you had known it, you wouldn't have needed me or my money. Mind your own business. You should say the same to the crafty one as well. You should not believe him. Allah Azza says to be careful for both yourself and others. Rizq sustenance is from Allah. Do not give it away to this one and that one. Take care of, of your own rizq and property by yourself. We are living in such an age now that since the time of our Holy Prophet وسلم, until now, people have changed a lot. This verse, ayah, is always applicable. Be careful, be cautious. Don't give away to others by pretending to be generous or in order to earn more profit. Guarantee yourself. Guarantee your work and business. A lot of the time they would come to Mawlana Sheikh Nazim and complain. I gave such amount of money to this man, but he didn't return it. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim had a good reply. Are you asking for it now? You should have asked from the beginning. Don't ask now. There was a crafty man who took two mentally abnormal men as guarantors to a bank. 
para çekti. Banka müdürü geliyor. He received the money from the bank. Böyle bu adam. And then the bank manager came to Mevlana Sheikh Nazım saying that this man did so. He said, why didn't you ask before? He used to answer as such most of the time. Therefore, the Mashayikh, the Sheikhs don't want it either. If you are to do something, you must do your own research first and then start it. May Allah help us. May Allah protect us. May Allah provide us good halal permissible risk. A person who thinks that he gets profit in such a way doesn't earn anything. He is losing and putting others at loss too. May Allah improve us, reform us. May Allah give mind and understanding to people.